Do you know how people in the freezing winters of northeast China, where temperatures drop to minus 30 or 40 degrees, keep warm? Smart as you are, you probably guessed it. They heat their homes with fire. In the kitchen, they build a stove out of bricks and stone, place a big iron pot on top, and push wood and corn cobs into the fire chamber. The flames crackle as they cook and warm the room at the same time. But here's the problem. The kitchen becomes warm, yet the bedroom stays icy cold and you can't exactly sleep beside the stove at night. So you come up with an idea. You stack red bricks in the bedroom to form a large rectangular platform Platform, cover it with paper boards, seal it with yellow clay, and finally lay a woven mat on top. This is the Kang, the traditional heated bed. Its secret lies in the hollow space inside. The Kang connects directly to the stove. When you cook, the hot smoke travels through the winding channels hidden inside the Kang, circling again and again, heating the entire platform before slowly escaping through the chimney. And if you want the bedroom warm through the long, bitter night, you only need to add firewood. Into the small fire hole at the corner of the Kong, this is called heating the Kong. The hot smoke loops through the the Kang's belly and then drifts out the chimney. Experienced Northeasterners can control the exact temperature under their blankets just by how much wood they add. Once the fire burns out and the smoke clears, they close the sliding board on the chimney so the heat stays trapped inside. One firing keeps the whole Kang warm until morning. Congratulations, you've just invented the Northeastern heated Kang with nothing but fire and smoke. Even a winter of minus 30 degrees carries a touch of warmth. Come on up and sit on the Kang.